So my name's Angela Single and I work for British Telecom, BT, and I'm Clinical Director for Global Business Development. So that's, uh, that role encompasses supporting a whole number of country teams to um, learn about the health propositions that we have and um, to uh, support them to develop and sell those. So my area of expertise um, before coming on the course, although it's, it's developing since I've been on the course, is something called telehealth and telecare. Mm -hmm. And that's predominantly using mobile phone technology and um, video conferencing technology to redesign the way we deliver healthcare, both in hospitals and in the community. So I was at the point in my career where I really wanted, I think, a kind of an injection boost, really, in terms of where I was going next. I have reached in my current career um, really a, a, a plateau in terms of where do I go next because I'm quite a senior person in, in the clinician field, so I'm a clinical director, and actually it's probably difficult to get higher in that functional role. So uh, in the current job that I am and in the current company that I am, I was looking around to see, okay, if I want to develop my career further, how can I do that? And saw that actually um, a course such as and this in MBA in particular, a course such as this really would give me that injection in terms of broadening my skills. Um, for me, very much about how to um, position myself as, as having the skills that I didn't have in my clinical career in terms of now in my business career to develop my career to perhaps a VP or board level uh, position. In terms of my job, I feel, and I think part of that, my frustration about my job was I felt that I could do more in my job, but needed something like the EMBA to prove to my counterparts and my bosses that I actually had the wherewithal to do it. And actually, it's, it's much more than that, but it's about showing that I've got the piece of paper, but also exposing me to models and business tools that I wouldn't have got exposed to. What Judge has done amazingly well is the group that they put together. So the group, they spend a lot of time putting a very diverse, an amazing dynamic group of students together who I'm sure will be lifelong friends in terms of the way that we interact. And also what's important is the way that we do our um, group work, that we um, spend time in different groups and talking to people that in my day-to-day -day life I would never have any reason to talk to. So mm -hmm. I work in a clinical field, I work in telecoms, there wouldn't be any reason normally for me to talk to an investment banker or a, um, a oil and gas um, CEO. But this gives you exposure to those types of um, individuals that you would never have in your day-to-day -day life. And it's had a huge impact on me in my day-to-day -day life. My family say that I'm much more interested in the world around me, mm -hmm. I'm much more interested in macroeconomics, how the world works, politics, etc. That's all down to the kind of awakening the judge does. Other obstacles are things like if you've got a busy work, li work life that have you, can you fit time in? Where I am in my own personal life is my children have grown up. Mm -hmm. um, I did do my first degree working full time with small children, so I've proved that I can do it once. Um, and I think it's about priorities. This is a priority for me to develop my career progression. And if I want to continue my career and not plateau that career because I could sit here very easily for the next 10, 15, 20 years and say that's it I've reached my pinnacle of my career but I'm not happy to do that I want to if you like give more back I would like to perhaps become a board member of perhaps a charity or run a charity or become somebody more senior in in um, the business world and it's about giving back as well to the business world. So I can't see of any particular priorities if you, uh, sorry, obstacles. If you want to do this, you'll make time and money available to do it.